The increase in Treasury yields this year has not changed our approach or positioning. We continue to believe that predicting the direction of rates and magnitude of move is hard to get right consistently. We focus on sector and security selection to add value. By focusing on bottom-up selection, the process will be more consistent and repeatable across various interest rate environments. One mistake that often occurs in bond investing when rates rise is that it's easy to stop focusing on the longer term and instead focus on short-term performance. Oftentimes, when rates change, they move by 100 to 125 base point increments over a four to six month time horizon as the market reprices to new information. Managers often overreact to these and chase the market just as the rate move is ending, or they try to defend the current positioning by doubling down on our short or long duration stance. As we don't look to anticipate rates and take a longer term perspective, we try to minimize that risk in the portfolio. With the interest rate move that we have seen this year, it will be a year of lower total returns than we initially expected. However, there continues to be good excess return opportunities in both securitized and corporate bonds, which we believe can continue to enhance returns this year. While where rates ultimately end up this year is unknown by everyone, there are a number of securities that can perform well regardless of the direction of interest rates. Being bond managers, we are always concerned with inflation being higher than expectations. When looking out to the intermediate or longer term, we don't expect inflation to run faster than what the market currently is expects. Inflation will remain fast through the course of this year and into early next year. And we do believe that once supply chains are repaired, inflation will moderate. The biggest driver in long-term inflation historically has been labor. The excess number of unemployed and underemployed as well as technological innovation, will likely keep labor rates moderate over the next several years. The steeper yield curve has not changed our bottom-up approach. The steeper yield curve has increased opportunities in certain parts of the maturity spectrum, though. More specifically, it has created more opportunities in security selection, where individual credit curves have changed due to the movement in the yield curve. The change in the yield curve fits well with our bottom-up approach, as we focus on optimizing what the maturity profile is of the various credit issuers in the portfolio. While spreads may not compress much further, the likelihood of much wider spreads remains low. The economy is just beginning to reopen as the economic environment improves that will lead to better credit fundamentals. This should be supportive of spreads in both corporate bonds and in securitized. While the magnitude of the economic re recovery is unique, prior times in history, we have seen very stable spreads when the Fed is accommodative and the economy is improving. In those periods, both corporate bonds and securitized credit have produced solid excess returns relative to higher quality areas of fixed income.